Hello, let's demonstrate how to look up academic integrity violations in the Pearson MyLab IT. First, I'm logged in as a student. We will go to the assignments calendar and we'll see how submissions look from students' perspective and then we'll do that from instructor's perspective. I have a greater project here which I completed. I have two submission submissions. The first one is at 0% and the second one is at uh, 100%. So we can see uh, that from a student perspective there is little indication of uh, difficulties. And so we can see that uh, all the items are completed. Now let's go ahead and uh, look at this submission from instructor perspective. Notice that I'm logged in as an instructor and I have selected instructor notifications. It is not the student notifications but the instructor notifications. My notifications have been customized so if you go to the customize button I've turned off everything including the welcome message uh, with the exception of notify me when new submissions are posted to the gradebook and notify me when I have new submissions to grade. So with this configuration in notifications I can uh, click on the notification and then I can see that there is a project that needs my attention. I can go ahead and uh, go to view submissions and at this point this is no different than actually preview, previewing all the submissions uh, by going to, for example, the uh, instructor assignment calendar because uh, the indicator uh, is, is going to be there as well. So notice that the first submission was submitted by the student um, based on the file that, that the student actually owns. The second submission has a red mark next to it. That means that something else was used. Either the material was copied and pasted or the starter file was used uh, from another party. So if we go to show details we will be able to see that um, the originating uh, the originating name is a greater solution. In this instance it is a solution that was downloaded from Pearson. Instructors have access to these solutions. Um, most often this will be a name of another student who actually passed the homework to the student who is submitting the homework. So this is one way to view it. Instructor notifications are not my preferred way of viewing this just because these notifications are going to be cleared when you log in the next time. So you really would have to view these notifications daily uh, to see uh, the status of the class. Rather, a better way to do that is to go to the instructor gradebook and actually run a report of the current and any past notifications. So I will click on the Instructor Gradebook. After that we'll go to a rep uh, Reports and Manage Groups. And next we'll go under Reports. So under Reports we have a number of things that we can look at but at the bottom in the left column we have Integrity Violation Report. So when I click on the Integrity Violation uh, Integrity violation report, I can see a list of students. In this instance we have one. We have the name of the student who submitted the work and then the name of the student uh, where the work originated from. And so this also then gives us uh, how, how much of the project was completed by the original student and how much uh, was uh, basically copied and pasted or otherwise moved into uh, the the homework. So this report is probably the best way to uh, to find the violations but then we can of course download it, we can print it and we can address that uh, with uh, with a student. One more uh, way to look at the assignments and of course uh, again, the first one was through notifications, the second one was through the instructor gradebook. Now this one will go to the instructor assignment calendar. We're going to then uh, go to the current assignment 
and the same grader project we will go to view submissions so this is how we can adjust grades uh, this is the place where we would uh, do do other work and so this indicator this icon tells me there's something wrong and again we can uh, open that up we can click on the uh, item in question and then we can go to show details and this is another uh, useful element uh, we can copy and paste that into an Excel spreadsheet um, there might be a number of steps that need to be discussed and so this is a nice report to discuss with with a student uh, thank you very much I hope that uh, this is going to be helpful to you thanks